Welcome to the City News Bulletin. Bangladesh on Sunday reported 230 deaths from COVID-19, the highest number of single-day deaths since the pandemic hit the country last year. The alarming surge in deaths was recorded a day after the health authorities witnessed a decline in both the number of daily casualties and infections on Saturday. The death rate also climbed to 1.61% in the meantime and the total number of deaths reached 16,419 in the country, according to the COVID-19 bulletin issued by the Directorate General of Health Services. Meanwhile, the health authorities recorded the highest ever 11,874 cases after testing the highest 40,015 samples in the 24 hours period. Bangladesh government on Sunday summoned the acting British High Commissioner in Dhaka and conveyed views and disappointment with certain issues mentioned in the Bangladesh chapter of the Human Rights and Democracy Report 2020 released by the UK Foreign. Commonwealth and Development Office last Thursday. Foreign Ministry Director General Fayaz Murshid Qazi conveyed the government's views to the acting High Commissioner Javed Patel in a meeting at the ministry, a foreign ministry press release said. At least 53 people were admitted to different hospitals with dengue fever in the country in 24 hours, till 8 a.m. today. According to the Director of General Health Services, with the 53, a total of 726 patients have been diagnosed with dengue this year. Of them, 32 were outside DACA. Around half of them, 355, were diagnosed till July 11, which indicates the first rising trend of the deadly virus. The number was 271 in June and 43 in May. India has evacuated about 50 diplomats and security personnel from its consulate in Kandahar, the former Taliban bastion in southern Afghanistan, after days of intense fighting, officials and a security source said Sunday. The insurgents claimed this week that they now control 85% of Afghanistan, much of its ease since early May when US-led foreign forces began their final withdrawal from the country. The Taliban also clashed with government forces this week on the edge of Kandahar city, the capital of Kandahar province, where the hardline Islamist movement was born. A 90-year-old woman who died after falling ill with COVID-19 was infected with both the Alpha and Beta variants of the coronavirus at the same time, researchers in Belgium said on Sunday, adding that the rare phenomenon may be underestimated. The unvaccinated woman, who lived alone and received at-home nursing care, was admitted to the OLV hospital in the Belgian city of Alstafter. A spate of falls in March and tested positive for COVID-19 the same day. While her oxygen levels were initially good, her condition deteriorated rapidly and she died five days later. Bangladesh won the one-off test against host Zimbabwe by a massive 220 runs at Harare on the final day of the match. Taskin Ahmed and Mehudi Hassan Miraz bagged four wickets each as Zimbabwe were bowled out for 256 runs in their second innings in chase of the 477 run target set by the Tigers. Coming into the second session of the fifth and final day of the one off test, Zimbabwe tailenders made. The Tigers wait but with T extended after Donald Tyrupano's wicket, Bangladesh bowlers managed to clean up the tail and give Mamadoula Riyadh, who was playing his final test, a proper send off. Having started the day at 140 for three, the Zimbabwe tail showed swag and resistance after losing four wickets in the morning session. Italy take on England at Wembley Stadium in London in the final of the 2020 European Championship. Italy have not won the Euros since 1968 but the Azzurri are on an unbeaten run of 33 games since September 2018 and have never lost against England at a major event. This is Italy's 10th major final, 6 World Cups and 4 Euros, with only Germany 14 having played more among the European nations. This will be England's first appearance in a Euro final and their first in the final of a major tournament since winning the 1966 World Cup, the longest gap 55 years between major finals World Cup or Euros for any European nation. Listening to City News Bulletin.